Hello! In this video, we will learn how to import images into the background on a TI Inspire CX or TI Inspire CX2 calculator. I will be using the TI Inspire CX Premium Teacher software. Let's begin by selecting number one, New. And now we have to choose what type of application we want to use. Only some of the applications will allow you to put in background images. They are Add Graphs, Add Geometry, and Add Notes. I'll choose number two, Add Graphs. Now that I have my Graphs application open, I will go to the World Wide Web and in a Google search I will type in lines in nature and I will then click on images now I can go and scroll through all the images to find lines that would work nicely for the project. I like this one the parallel lines so I will right click on the image I will save image as and I will call it vertical lines and I like to save it to my desktop then I simply click to go back to my software, I will then find the insert option, scroll down to image, and on my desktop I see vertical lines, and I will select open. Now that I have my image in place, I can move my mouse to an open area on the screen. I can left click and hold it down and reposition my axis, my graph paper, and I can have it so that my relations or functions will appear very nice. I can see that this line lines up with the negative one on the x-axis, and that this line looks like it lines up very nicely with two on the x-axis. If you have your background image and your axis in place and you don't want them to change, you can now right click using your mouse and choose the pin option. This now locks the axis and the background so you can't make any changes. If you do need to make a change as the author, Simply right click again and select unpin. So let's see how this works. If I press the tab key on the calculator, it opens up my entry line. Since these are vertical lines, we need to do relations. I will delete the equal sign. I will select number six relation. And I see that X equals negative one should be one of my lines. I'll press tab. I notice that it defaults to relation two. I'll put in x equals two and press enter. And I now see a background image that models math in the real world. Once you've mastered importing in an image, you can start to make activities. I created a math in the movies activity where you explore functions and relations that exist in the movies. As I go page by page, I can see images from popular movies where students can write the functions being modeled. Here we have an absolute value where you see Superman's symbol absolute value with transformations with X-Men 
Angry Birds, Parabolic Path, So you can really have a lot of fun with this tool being able to put images into the background on the TI Inspire CX or TI Inspire CX2 graphing calculator.